Uh, IoT at this moment, I would say it's it's a it's a buzzword, right? We are we are ahead of a revolution which have not happened yet. So across the world, we have IoT as a buzzword. We have uh, big data. We have Industry 4.0 specialists from Europe and Germany, where we came from. Now, where we stand from as a company in terms of IoT is we provide a platform that integrates both the IT and automation world. So we are coming as the in, from the automation and the industrial space, trying to link up to the IT space. So using our products as a platform, it creates a very open and very fast way to bring the industrial and automation sectors into the IT space. So having having said that, it's like, wow, well, okay, what are you talking about? Now, I would say, for example, in the industrial space, we are talking about controllers. We talk about controllers that links up to multiple thousands or even millions of sensors and triggering certain outputs. When we try to put this onto the IT space, it becomes quite difficult because there are controllers that doesn't talk in the types of uh, network that the IT space provides. So for us, we, we are quite unique in that area. We provide ourselves like a gateway, whether as a controller for the subsystems or as a gateway interacting with subsystems. So in terms of value to the, to the customers or to the integrators and the end users, we reduces the amount of time that you need to bring a system into the cloud. And then sharing this information across all your multiple, uh, let's say your control stations, your users, and also up to the management, to your MBS. IoT, it's, as, I, as, I, as I said, it's, we're ahead of time in, in terms of revolutions. So if I were to use the, the German standard of Industry 4.0, 4.0 has not happened yet. So IoT is like telling us well, that there is a lot of technologies we can use. Uh, we can imagine our, let's say, a wastewater, wastewater collection systems able to send emails, send SMS, even do a Twitter. Or maybe they have their own Facebook accounts. So at this moment, I think it is possible. You just don't know how to make use of it. Uh, so in this show, we are also demonstrating some of these concepts and hopefully someone comes along and says, hey, I think that's a good idea. So I'm really excited about how IoT is bringing us forward because it's, it's going to be the trend for the next five, maybe ten years. Because it is not the end, it's only the beginning. There's always multiple and competing standards. So what are the standards we should follow? So like for example, back in the 1980s when our company first started and having our first range of products, we decided that we should go for the Windows Intel-based platform. But as we, we remember in 1980s, Windows Intel is not the main platform. It, there are a lot of multiple competing standards. So for us as a company, at this moment, we are, we are also looking at what are the open standards? What are the competing standards? Who should, we, who should we follow? What should we adopt? So that's the challenges. If we follow something that is not going to come through in the future, then it's a lot of investment gone wasted. It's, I, I would say it's excellent. This show has a lot of, uh, a lot of technology shown. And it's not specific to one particular uh, discipline. It's across multiple disciplines. And the, the visitor that comes along, they are all excited about what is IoT. What does your company do? What technologies do you do you provide? What can I what can I do? So it's a lot of interactions compared to many other shows, which are relatively quieter. And this is there's a lot of vibrancy in this in this show.